Captain Caitlin to the Rescue by Allison Lowens Illustrated by Melissa Roger On a gray, wet day, Captain Caitlin pulled on her boots and ran outside without stopping for breakfast. Not so fast, cried her mom. What about your crispy corns and orange juice? Can't wait, said Caitlin. There's an emergency over on Seashore Road. And she galloped along as fast as her boots would carry her. Besides, captains didn't eat crispy corns. They had fresh fish on a stick, maybe even a fried snake if things got bad. On Seashore Road, she found Byron Wheeler throwing rocks at Annie Schlechter's cat. <coughs> Captain Caitlin to the rescue, she cried. Stop at once or I'll... Byron's mother called him in for breakfast just then, so Caitlin didn't have to say more. Captain Caitlin ran down the street. You're out early, said Mr. Thomas buttoning his jacket against the rain. Where are you off to so fast? Can't wait, Caitlin gasped. There's an emergency over at Pelican Court. And she hurried along as fast as her boots would carry her, dreaming of fresh fish on a stick. Or maybe a waffle. At Pelican Court, she found Mrs. Ferguson's dog, Angus, stuck in a hole in the fence. <laughs> Captain Caitlin to the rescue, she said, and set him free. Angus gave her a slurpy kiss. Captain Caitlin and Angus ran in the rain. <laughs> What's the rush? asked the Lemure twins as they delivered the morning paper. Can't wait, she puffed. There's an emergency over on Cedar Crescent. Caitlin hurried along as fast as her sloshy boots would go and dreamed of last night's cold leftover fish or maybe even two eggs and a muffin. On Cedar Crescent, she found Roxanne Barber shaking an apple tree. A blue rain hat was snagged in the branches. Two angry robins shrieked overhead. Captain Caitlin to the rescue, she shouted. Stop at once or I'll... A big splot of rainwater fell in Roxanne's face just then, so Caitlin didn't have to say more. Roxanne wiped her eyes. Angus's nose quivered. And Captain Caitlin looked. There, in the middle of a puddle, lay a baby bird. Captain Caitlin to the rescue, Caitlin whispered. She knelt to pick it up, dreaming of bacon and pancakes, or maybe even that fried snake. The robins wouldn't let her near the nest, not even when Roxanne helped. So Caitlin took the baby bird and Angus home. My gracious, you're wet! said Mrs. Ferguson as she let Angus into the yard. Won't you come in for some toast and tea? Caitlin's stomach growled. Can't stay, she said. There's an emergency at Sunrise Way. Cradling the baby bird in her hand, she walked as carefully as her soggy boots would take her and dreamed of bugs and worms. At home... Caitlin emptied her treasure box and lined it with clean socks. In the backyard, she dug up a luscious, fat worm. Not so fast, said her mom. Where are you going with that thing? Can't wait, Caitlin said. There's an emergency up in my room. Captain Caitlin pulled off her muddy boots and jacket. Very carefully, she fed the baby bird its breakfast. Then, she sat down to have her crispy corns and orange juice, and last night's cold leftover fish.